And welcome back to week 17 of the RS3 Iron Man Road to Completion Escape series. It's me, an exotic llama, or Iron Llama X, uh, starting off day 113, doing some divination. I noticed my divine charges were running really low, down at like 63k or something. Um, so yeah, I collected a lot of energy, you can see that's building up. Uh, approaching 10k, I'll hopefully uh, pass 10k, because... I really need a lot of charges if I want to keep training invention. Uh, I'm going to get it to like the 120 minimum and that's, yeah, that's a lot of charges left to go. So as you can see here, I'm currently disassembling gold bars for simple parts. I ended up collecting like 41 divine charges uh, worth of energy, and that's, you know, 400 energy at a time. Um, yeah, that, that took quite a while. So, need to do a little bit of fishing for a uh, fishing daily challenge, and I thought, uh, you know, I may as well go ahead and make one of these. Uh, I read about it in a Reddit comment that apparently it's really useful, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and make an Earn Enhancer. Um, basically, it gives you, like, bonus XP from Earns for very minimal charge drain. Uh, so that's going to really come in handy when pushing, you know, for... 99s that uh, that use urns, uh, so I'm just gonna yeah use this, and it, you only have to ever make one. It it doesn't like degrade at all. Uh, so I'm gonna go do this uh, uh, shark daily challenge, and that was surprisingly quick for a uh, shark fishing daily challenge. That's taken care of. 18 and a half k sharks are uh, fishing, not sharks. <laughs> oh man, that would be uh that'd be quite a bit. Um, yeah, and I got some uh, raw great white sharks too. It just took the uh, the normal ones away, so I got to keep the great whites. I'm gonna keep those over there. I'll uh, cook those eventually. Got some cooking to do, and uh, yeah, on to more stuff. I now have uh, carrion jadinkos here because I planted the uh, barber stuff, the green vine blossom. I got the boneyard, planted the uh, calferberry bush over there, which I should go harvest again. And uh, I ended up planting Samadon. Now that requires 80 farming, which I've been pushing for, right? You know, that's my current goal right there. Um, but the thing about farming is you can boost. Uh, so I used a pork pie, which is like a sort of a quest reward from bringing home the bacon. You just go kill some pigs, you use the bacon, you make a pie, and it boosts you five farming levels. Uh, it's something I didn't know about until recently. Uh, actually, I went to the wiki page on farming boosts, uh, so it's something good to note uh, if there is anything like this that y'all need to farm. Uh, pork pies are really easy to make, and uh, yeah, they allow you to boost plus five, which is you know pretty great. Just going to demonstrate a bit of the usefulness of the urn enhancer. Uh, last clip for the night. Uh, so normally these are 1900 XP, and uh, the urn enhancer it uses 20 divine charge per urn uh, that it applies to. So I'm going to send off six of these for 14.2k. Now normally it would be uh, just under 12k, like 11.500 for all of that, or 11.4,000. You know, so for that like extra um, 2.500 XP pretty much, nearly 3,000 XP, uh, it costs like, I don't know, 50 energy or less? Like going to collect the radiant energy, it's like less than 50 um, for, you know, a few thousand XP. It's pretty good. Funnily enough, that means every single, uh, energy that, or every single memory you get when doing divination, uh, the energy it turns into, it's worth more fishing XP than catching, like, the leaping, uh, trout. <laughs> it's really weird. Though I could have done my math wrong. On to day 114, turning in a construction daily challenge. Uh, for 40k construction, that's pretty nice, and uh, it only cost about uh, twice as many planks there, so it's like a 50% refund, it's pretty good. So, as I'm pretty sure this is still legal, I uh, set my uh, mouse keys on so that I can just spam my numpad. I've been watching uh, The Office for a little while. I streamed a little bit earlier, failed some Araxor like six times, and uh, now I have hit uh, 79 thieving. Uh, so. Getting up there, let's see, uh, nothing new, um, yeah, just heading up for those 90s. I uh, set it to 85, because I think that's when I can start getting double or triple loot, 
and then uh, yeah I'm just gonna stay here for a long time um, but you can see you know I set that 85 uh, goal right after I hit 78 it's been like 40 minutes and I leveled it's pretty fast really good week here at uh, Tears of Guthix starting day 115 uh, 190 tiers collected for 57k farming uh, that's pretty fantastic also it seems my farming has pretty much caught my uh, hunter and my thieving is only a little bit ahead of that too so gotta start working on other skills go back to uh, crystallizing some grinwalls and uh, keep doing that light form uh, crystal mask at minifights finally made myself an augmented crystal hatchet and augmented crystal pickaxe uh, this is in preparation for the uh, well, tomorrow's update, which is going to be um, Crystal Tinderbox and Hammer, can now be augmented. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to go collect two more augmenters uh, in preparation. I've already got the items here. And, uh, you know, I'm getting my perfect juju potions uh, fairly soon. Um, currently progressing through Herblore, Abit Herblore Habitat and uh, getting the different types of jdinkos, getting a few vines, and uh, doing some farming of the different herbs. Uh, so you see I have some salmon in here, I planted some urzile, I believe, and uh, I've got a little few vines here, some in the, uh, the uh, place itself because you can store vines there. Well, I'm going to wait before, uh, until I get sarin components to uh, fill out the second slot on each of these. Uh, but for the hatchet, I'll be putting on, um, it's called Honed, right? Yeah, Honed 4, which gives a higher chance of just gathering items. Uh, and then this gizmo, it's uh, Honed 3, Furnace 2, going on the pickaxe. Uh, because I don't mind if I, you know, burn gold or whatever whenever I'm going to be at LRC. Uh, so yeah, pretty good stuff here. <sighs> Holy shit! <laughs> I'm I'm leeching a reaper for my friend again, <laughs> and I just got the pet. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh shit, I better not die. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus, how many king black? Let's see. 94. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> I guess this means that, you know, once I take care of uh, my Slayer and Defense and Dungeoneering is 99s, that I think Summoning's going to be the one after that. That's going to be a lot of charm collecting, though, which really just means more Slayer. Because, I mean, I can't, I can't even use it until I get to 99 Slayer. <laughs> I mean, Summoning, God. Oh. I can't believe I got that. <laughs> it was it. Uh, I did show it, but it was 97. Kill number 97. I don't even have the book yet, I don't think. The last writer's book that you have to get. Yeah. Wow. I'm so excited right now. Finally, have Juju Woodcutting Potions and Juju Mining Potions. Uh, that's all of my Harmony Moss so far. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this here. Make some perfect Juju. And, um... This right here is a mining harmony pillar, which is also fantastic, because then I just plant seeds here, go do some mining for an hour or two, and I can get some more uh, harmony moss to finish up these pots. And, uh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, wait. What? I guess I saved four or something like that. Nice. Yeah, really happy to finally have this, and I think this is about enough for uh, 99 mining. I'm not entirely sure, but this is, uh, let's see, that's a 22 times, uh, 66 doses, so 66 hours. It's a little more than half of what I need, I think. Just realized I totally didn't do, like, any rune crafting, like I said I was going to at the end of the last video. But hey, you know, I did, like, a full hour of mining here. I'm getting close to 82, and getting close to 82 smithing as well. I just, this kind of stuff is a lot more valuable in terms of time, because uh, rune crafting through the abyss is so much faster than rune span. So that 54 minutes of mining got me uh, just around 100,000 mining XP. Um, yeah, that's pretty insane, actually. And uh, mining at LRC just happened to be a daily challenge I was saving up, as well as uh, planting for Harmony Moss. Uh, so they're about 4k, whatever. And then uh, 17k mining, nice. And 
a reward. Oh, it actually took the uh, gold ore. Oh, so I guess it took 250 gold ore and gave me a runite. And I'll be finishing up the night here, getting a cooking level. That's level 84 cooking. Uh, nothing really significant. I guess great white shark is alright, so whenever I fish shark I can uh, use these and eventually I can start making sushi, I guess? Yeah, that's something. Um, nice. 23.55 total. Not bad. Going to get started on that Slayer tomorrow, I think, and start working towards that 99 for the week. And uh, keep getting that defense up so it'll be the 99 uh, the week after. Starting day 116 by augmenting the Crystal Tinderbox. Uh, oh, I have to discover that first. And here we go. Going to augment the Crystal Tinderbox. I know I can make the uh, other thing. Um, I didn't know that at first, but I already made the Crystal tim Tinderbox, so I may as well. And uh, I have a... Uh, Pyromaniac 3 Rapid 1 here, which is going to be a decent uh, increase in XP per hour. Um, considering putting Wise and Enlightened on it, uh, but I only really have one good gizmo for that, or two I guess, but I'm not going to disassemble my Crystal Pickaxe, and uh, yeah, I would, I would have to go do a lot more fishing if I wanted to uh, take apart my fishing rod automatic for this one. Um, so I'm not sure. Uh, also, I need to uh, get into the arc fairly soon so I can get the Crystal Tool Siphon. I'm going to wait whenever this hits level 12 and just stop fire making for a while. And since I've been working on, you know, fire making stuff this morning, getting my Ring of Fire and Flame Gloves, which are going to be, you know, 5% bonus fire making XP. There we go. Oh, I love it. That's the first proc I've gotten for Pyromaniac. Burned a full inventory at once. Oh, lovely. And after uh, finally turning in a little prophecy tablet from uh, Glorious Memories and going and talking to Mr. Mordout, I hit maximum kudos. And there's a mining level, uh, working on mining here. Uh, did quite a bit of uh, urn collecting earlier so that I can start AFKing here efficiently. I got like 300 and something, and I think I need a little over 2,000, yeah, like 24, 2,500, not sure. Uh, and then about a thousand cooking to get the rest of the way to 99 there, using urns. So yeah, that's a thing. I did collect like 300 urns though, so. So, uh, someone just asked me about how many hours do you play per day? And it had been a little while since I last, like, calculated it, did the math. Uh, so I did, and it looks like it's about, uh, 10 hours and 39 minutes a day. Uh, but not all of that's, you know, efficient hours played, I'd say efficient is maybe like six at the most. Uh, but in case y'all are interested in how I get my wicked gains, it's just because, I don't know, I kind of have a lot of free time. Now I'm working on some uh, QBD, I'm doing a QBD Reaper task, or not a Reaper task, what am I talking about? Slayer assignment, uh, using overloads for the first time, and um, yeah, they just added in the uh, value of like the loot chest at the end, uh, it's a pretty nice update. So my first loot was like 310k, um, but it happened to be, you know, onyx bolt tips. Those I'm gonna put on runite bolts and it's gonna be worth a lot more than that, so yeah, doing some QBD. Got uh, onyx bolt tips back to back and a royal sight, not bad. And 10 kills in uh, to this new assignment that is. Um, got the royal bolt stabilizer, I think that's one of the other pieces I was missing. Oh, it turns out I have all four pieces. That is unexpected. I thought uh, one of these was a uh, a repeat, the uh, stabilizer of the site that I just got, but eh, not bad. Uh, wait, I gotta yeah, I gotta take this to that dwarf guy. And there, royal crossbow complete. Uh, don't know how often I'm gonna be using it. Uh, probably mostly at QBD because it's extra range. Um, yeah. Uh, it'll be fairly useful, because uh, I won't have to, you know, go get the uh, tokens for these. Uh, I'm going to go finish up the rest of this task on Black Dragons and Taverly Dungeon, though, uh, just to save some time so I can go back to AFK stuff uh, and go ahead and push out that 99 Slayer as soon as possible. That key dropped off of the first Ascension creature on the task. That's telling me I'm going to get a Secunda Signet soon. That I just, I feel the game. It's telling me my RNG is going to go well. And here's turning in a Rune Minotaur's daily challenge. 22k summoning for, you know, a minute of work, if that. It's pretty nice. 
Wow, number three, huh? Armadale Hilt. Man. I just realized how spammy chat can be here. Like your furnace perk consumes ore. The Varak armor allows you to mine an additional ore. The stone spirit gives you Addy for free. Oh man. When you casually examine a guy to see that not only is he an Iron Man, because he's got the Iron Man armor, but he's rank four. It's it's just like I'm so jealous. I think I see why a lot of people uh, prefer not to use urns here. Because I burned through like 16 urns in 38 minutes. Yeah, it's pretty fast. Oh hey, my first time seeing a uh, living rock patriarch. I think I should probably kill it because I think they have uh, good drops. I'm not sure I'm going to go check on the wiki. Hey, no problem. I didn't even have to uh, break out any combat gear. Just got my... Uh, Nifty uh, obsidian golem to kill him. Hey, wh where is that? Yay, me that. I don't. I don't really care about that runite, but the uh, eh, or the diamond. Really, I'll take the runes. Okay, fine. I'll just take the mud runes. That. That's. Yeah, I care about inventory space a lot right now. Uh, but I think I do want some living rock remains. So I'll go ahead and get those in case they ever want to fish some uh, some rock tail. And there's 83 mining, which is probably where I'm calling it for the night. Um, but I will keep mining until this runs out. And then probably just start another dose and work on this again in the morning. Starting day 117, there's a crafting level. Nice. 94. Really getting up there. Only a few levels left to go for uh, for that one. Now working on some Slayer, and I got a pretty big drop here. Uh, almost 300 mahogany planks. Nice. Uh, that That's quite a bit of uh, construction XP right there. And showing showcasing some more invention gains using a siphon on my sun spear. There we go. Not bad. So I'm just wondering, you know, how great would it be for me to get a signet right now? I'm just doing a, you know, random secundus kill on task. And, uh, yeah, no, it wasn't random at all. That's, that's 99 Slayer. Oh man. So there's my 99 for the week. Taken care of. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah, I gotta go get that cape now. And it's it's really funny too, because someone in my clan is about to hit 200 mil. Like, <laughs> they're, they're apparently like 5k XP away or something. and uh, Just perfect timing. And there it is. Congrats to Daisy for getting the 200M. And there's that gorgeous cape. Let's pick it up. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Is it, is it not in the shop? Uh, can you sell me a Slayer Skills cape? There we go. Uh, great. I have always wanted one. Uh, yes, indeed. Nice. Oh, that sexy cape. Yeah, it's fantastic right there. <laughs> Oh boy, no idea what I'm going to be doing next week, probably defense, but uh, yeah, we'll see when the time comes. And because it's Amlod, you know, I've been working on uh, getting my summoning up over time. There's 89, uh, I think I started at like 86 today, so I've done, you know, like two hours of this. Uh, quite a few granite uh, lobster pouches. Um, but that is Geyser Titans, which are going to be really good, because I, uh, if I remember correctly, I have a lot of water talismans saved up here. Uh, let's see, yeah, 277, which is a decent amount, and then I have uh, 800 blue charms that I can go through. Uh, you can see I made almost 2,300 granite lobsters today. Um, yeah, so that puts me at 4.8 mil away from 96 for the pack yak. And here's a very relevant daily challenge. Uh, my new one, unicorn horn or unicorn unicorn stallions, yeah, uh, for 23 and a half thousand uh, summoning there. And three rune bars, not bad actually, in return for the, uh, what was it, 15 unicorn horns? Yeah, it's no big deal. And doing Tears of Guthics again, because it was just the weekly reset, and I believe that's the first time I broke 200. So 61k farming XP, and uh, there's level 79, which means I can farm dwarf weed now, that's nice. And uh, getting close to 80, which would put me uh, just around 80 all stats. Just in case I get something crazy... And no, no. Do I pet chance? No, I don't pet chance. 
Okay, mechanics of the acid phase. Then I would have been fine. Hey, that's pretty nice. Ten rune plate bodies. I like that. Recording again. Probably gonna have to delete all these clips anyway. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Good enough. Self getting better at this boss as I kill it more and more often. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good to not fail like 11 times in a row. So if you didn't get it from the clips, people finally convinced me to go back to trying ranged, and it's going a lot smoother at Rax. I actually beat my personal record on that last kill um, with tier 80 range as opposed to tier 85 melee. Really weird. Uh, but anyway, I got four kills today, uh, which means I pushed up to 80% in rage. Um, I got up 60% in rage kill. Uh, four more kills to finish up this Reaper task and get myself the Reaper Necklace. Um, hopefully I can get some Onyxes soon. I don't really want to go try, uh, uh, what's it called, Hur Hurricane yet. I know I can kill it, it just, it's kind of monotonous. Um, since it's, uh, it's now 2-3, I'm going to try to get four kills every single day, uh, every time it's 2-3, and whenever it goes back to path one, I might try it out again? Like, 1-3? I don't know. Like, if, if I'm getting better at the, the kills overall, it's not really the minions that were killing me, it's the, the phase four. Um, yeah, maybe I'll end up having Nox weapons by the time I cop. It'll actually make things a lot more efficient uh, in terms of farming different resources if, if, I, if I do uh, get Nox weaponry before long. Last clip of the night, just gonna throw this out there. Um, oh, and you can see I did a lot of uh, fishing, I mean a lot of cooking, jeez, I had like 1400 raw shark or something. Um, so, uh, this is the total number of urns I believe I need for these three uh, individual 99s. Uh, it's 2400 mining, 1000 cooking, and 800 fishing. Um, and what I was doing previously was just wearing my Varric armor, and then having like a lot of clay being eaten by my furnace perk here. So what I'm going to do is just use the rune pick on my tool belt, and um, take this uh, Varric armor too, wear it, and wear uh, clay bracelets. Um, I needed to make this for a achievement diary, uh, one of the, the tier and win uh, hard tasks, and uh, I was like, oh right, this is a thing, I should make these. Uh, so if I make 140 of them, I should be able to get enough clay for all of these urns. Uh, but then the Varok armor is also going to apply, so I'm going to end up with some extra, and uh, that will probably go direct uh, directly towards woodcutting. Um, so yeah, that's just something, a little tip to throw out there in case you forgot that clay bracelets exist. Um, make them. It's just an enchanted um, sapphire bracelet, so sapphire or gold bar. Put it together, uh, enchant it with a water and cosmic room, voila, you get uh, two clay, or two soft clay, every single time you mine here in Prif. Two soft clay, and it has uh, uh, 28 charges. I should throw that in there. On to day 118, uh, just did an Abbey Demon task. I'm really starting to hate Abbey Demons because of how long it takes to find a uh, free world. Um, but anyway, I ended up getting my first Abyssal Wand on the account. Uh, it's not too useful, I mean it's only a tier 75, but, you know, something else for the trophy tab, right? Just finished yet another task here at Kriara. Got 96 defense right at the end. Not bad at all. Uh, no drops, sadly, aside from a Godsword Shard 1, which I think is number 8. Um, so yeah, I'd like another 30-something kill count down. Uh, that puts me at a total of 389, with two helmets, a glove, and a chain skirt. Oh yeah, and, and a shield. Yeah, not too great. Okay, I'm so happy right now. I just saw what it is. It's Super Restores. Oh, I love it. Oh, uh, that's fantastic. Like, I got a 45 uncut diamond earlier while, while, like, while on this task. And, you know, I was like, eh, that's alright. You know, it's like 5k crafting XP and maybe some alkables one day. Uh, but this, this is pretty good. Uh, that's, that's a lot better. I'm just gonna drop this crap that I was gonna vendor. <laughs> That's a lot of gold! Wow, that's... that's pretty good! <laughs> also, I figure I should go back to disassembling my sun spears. Yeah, go ahead. And, uh... Nice, finally got to 78, which is charge drain reduction 5 and junk chance reduction 5. So, I uh, was really looking forward to this level. 
Just gotta go get some inspiration now so I can uh, research both of them. Alright, just finished the uh, tier 1 hard tasks. Let's see about the task system. And nice. Now have that quiver, uh, which means some more herbal or XP. And I can now get the 10% uh, extra spirit shards back uh, whenever I trade with Lord Amlod. Um, I was actually saving all of my pouches until I got that. Uh, so I'm glad that that's taken care of. And you can see I have uh, quite a few pouches built up that like almost 2.3k there. And then um, the 275 geyser titans. Yeah. Like hell. Okay, so next loot. Uh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Bank. Okay, yeah, that's... Okay, kill number two of the day. And it's shit. Hey, at least I got some uh, some of those back. I just really fucked up at the end, I think. Ooh! I appreciate that. Magic Seeds and Sarah Brews. That's a pretty good one. No fucking way! <laughs> On Rex! On Rex! <laughs> what? <laughs> it was a Reaper task. <laughs> Not only was it a reaper task, but it was the last reaper task I needed for for my Hydrix. Jesus! <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> you couldn't just give me a fang? <laughs> God. <laughs> I got the recording, too. I'm so glad that I got the recording, guys. <laughs> Still streaming, but there's the end of the Elder Kiln quest. Awesome. On to day 119, and I completely ran out of food. This was my second try. But I managed to get the Onyx. Yes, I'll accept the Onyx. Thank you very much. Took an hour and four minutes. Like, my entire vampirism aura tortoise full of stuff. Oh man, so I'm gonna craft this and then go over to the bank. Where is it at? It's in this tab. There we go, incomplete Hydrix. Pop that on. Uncut Hydrix. Yeah. And then craft that into a Hydrix, not bad. And there it is. Hydrix necklace. Craft that up. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm real happy about that one. Whew. It's been a lot of work to get that, and that's going to uh, help me a decent bit at racks. I mean, it's another prayer bonus, and compared to... Yeah, compared to the Murmur, it's just, like, one prayer bonus. Uh, but the real benefit is the extra, uh, like, 3% accuracy that you get over time. So, yeah. Pretty happy about that. So I had to come and do, like... I don't know, it's like six or seven things of temple trekking. Got some bowstring, which is nice for uh, future fletching challenges. But I finally got the uh, lumberjack top, and that'll finish my lumberjack set so I can, you know, efficiently woodcut and get, like, as, mo as much uh, XP per hour as possible. Nice. Also, funnily enough, um, I had never completed a, uh, a certain Mauritania medium task in here, which is, like, take a medium follower through a medium uh, temple trek. Yeah, I'd, I'd never done that. Like, never happened to do that in 99ing all of the guys here. So I just thought that was kind of funny. Alright, turning in a Rune Minotaur daily challenge. Uh, real quick, 23k bonus. Uh, sort of bonus XP. It's it's XP, but it's, it's free. It's a bonus. Yeah, okay. 
And you may have noticed in the last clip that I had a inventory with some woodcutting urns and a bunch of porters and a beaver pouch. I've been doing some uh, woodcutting this morning, uh, chopping some teaks, and uh, I guess there's an evil tree around here. I don't see it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Maybe I'll take advantage of that, depending on what type of tree it is. I'll just go ahead and nurture it, though, because that's some farming. Uh, anyway, um, I wanted to get 83 woodcutting to go do curly roots for... Uh, for woodcutting and fire making, um, so I'm just getting some teaks real quick. Oh wow, it just happens to be an evil magic tree. I got to uh, go to the evil tree FC and get some people here to help me out. Cause that's going to be some uh, some pretty good XP. And uh, doing some curly roots, um, already up to 87 fire making. You could say uh, really burning through these levels. Haha. <laughs> It's, it's going by really quickly, and I'm using almost no prayer. It's like seven doses of prayer pots so far, um, and I've been here for, I don't know, like almost all of 86, I mean all of 86 and almost all of 85, so yeah, pretty quick. Or, but there was some really intense lag going on there. Um, eh, shit drop. I didn't figure anything else though. And some more rune plate bodies. Uh, luckily I'm starting to stack up on those flasks too. I started to panic, sloppy, fixed it. Hey, a Trisk Fragment. I don't know whether or not to be happy about that. Hmm. Okay, uh, kill number four of the day. And nothing much. 7.32? With tier 80s? <laughs> I'm pretty happy of So, did my five uh, Rax kills for the day on stream. Then I went and did a Bandos Reaper task that I got yesterday, and today's a Grigorovic Reaper task. Uh, not streaming anymore, um, though I may, you know, later on. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to try Greg for the first time. Got my reputation up a little bit, so it's up to 790, which is, you know, it's even over my Zeros reputation now. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. And well, as expected, no good drops from Greg. Uh, but it was only like, you know, 13 kills or whatever, so no big deal. So, because I use OBS to record, uh, I realize that I've been making some mistakes with the past clips for about a day, maybe two days now. Uh, all of the clips are going to be in 30 FPS, and that is not intentional. Um, I have to stream at 30 FPS, otherwise I have latency issues. Um, but I'm using OBS, and there's no way to set multiple frame rates, like one for streaming and one for recording. Um, so I was just using one global FPS value. I set it to 30, forgot to change it back. Uh, so sorry for that. You, you, it might be noticeable. Uh, in the video, Movie Maker might do some magic and like interlace it properly, but probably not. Uh, it's probably going to look kind of, uh, kind of bad for some of it. Um, but sorry about that. I uh, just wanted to throw that out there, that uh, I did make some mistakes there. And um, I'm looking to try and find a way to around that, find a way to fix it doing a half an hour and realized it's nearly 1 a.m. so I should probably go to sleep. Uh, I don't have class tomorrow, uh, luckily, but, you know, still need to sleep so I can make sure to get this uh, video uploaded before too long and edited, you know, taken care of. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the week. Uh, thanks for watching, y'all. It's been pretty fun. I've been doing a lot of PVM, which is uh, really enjoyable. Need to do these clue scrolls actually before too long, because I've got them just sitting here. And uh, you can see this game collections are really starting to add up. It's going to keep expanding too. So uh, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, check out my streams if you haven't. I've been streaming about every other day, maybe every three days. Um, on average, because uh, I'll be th I'll be streaming through a lot of different racks rotations. All right, later, y'all.